Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Mashu Vlogs. In my last video, I told you all about how to register yourself for Mrs. India Universe and what are the tasks given to you during those nine days. If you remember, I also informed you that I've flown with three different airlines as a cabin crew for eight years. So today's vlog is all about how to become a cabin crew. So let's get started. So in 2012, I started my career with Indigo Airlines and I flew with them for one and a half years. And then in 2013, I joined Etihad Airways and traveled the world for five years. And then finally, I got the opportunity to work with Air Arabia as a cabin supervisor. So now, the most important question is, how does a cabin crew interview works and what is the selection criteria? So every airline has certain selection policy when it comes to hiring a crew. They usually have similar rounds, but since all the airlines have different SOPs, which means standard operating procedures, so the rules and the regulations can be different. So the first round is mostly the PI round, which means the personal introduction. They also check any scars if you have it on your hands. Then they go ahead and check your height. For girls, it's usually 155 centimeters and above, and for boys, it's usually 171 centimeters and above. Now comes the second and the third round, which can be grooming or English test and vice versa. So the final round is your personal interview with either HR, a cabin crew manager, or someone who's representing the airline. So once you clear all the rounds, you get an email about your contract details and about your training. So this training, which is your ab initio or initial training is about one to two months, depending on domestic and international airline. So this ab initio training or initial training consists of subjects like standard operating procedures of an airline, first aid training, grooming, customer service, dangerous goods, and in-flight services. So when you clear all the exams, they schedule you for two observation flights and one check flight. So basically on the observation flight, you observe what a cabin crew is doing as minimum services. On your check flight, you have to do everything by yourself. Also arming, disarming and opening, closing of the door, which can be quite difficult if you do not know the technique properly. Guys, remember, the main responsibility of a cabin crew is maintaining the safety and security inside the aircraft and the passengers around you. I know it's a glamorous field, but it can be a really challenging job when it comes to maintaining your timings according to the flight that you're operating and according to the country that you're visiting because of different time zones. Now, let me show you some of the benefits and the challenges you face as a cabin crew. Yes, it's true. The most important benefit, you travel for free around the world and you also stay in five-star hotels. You meet different people from different nationalities every day and you also learn about their culture. So guys, some of the challenges that you can face as a cabin crew are your sleeping pattern may change every day after the flights. You also get fatigue after the ultra long haul flights, which are more than 12 hours or 13 hours. And your body also gets restless. But yes, and if you're ready to face these challenges, guys, this is your industry and welcome to aviation sector. I know because of COVID-19, the traveling sector has gone down and it has caused a huge impact on aviation. But trust me guys, once everything will be normal, aviation will boom again. So get ready for it. So guys, if you like my video and if you want to know more about cabin crew lifestyle, please write in the comment section below. Please share and subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. Thank you and see you in my next video.